There's certain tricks of the trade to try to halt your defeat. Like taking Tupperware to an all-you-can-eat. Returning you shit for new saying you lost your receipt. And writing four-figure checks when your accounts deplete. Then all your problems pile up about a mile up. Thinking about a partner you could dial up to help you out this vile stuff. Whole family sleeping on the full time while you clipping coupons. Eating salad trying to get full off the croutons. Cross town the situation is identical. Somebody getting strangled by the system and its tentacles. Misconception raised questions to be solved. A lot of dope boys is broke. A lot of homeless got jobs. You can make eight bones an hour till you pass out and still be ass out. Most pyramid schemes don't let you cash out. They say this generation make the harmony break. But crime rise consistent with the poverty rate. You take the workers from jobs, you gon' have murders and mobs. A gang of preachers screaming sermons over mummers and sobs, saying, pray for a change from the Lord above you. They tear this motherfucker up if they really loved you. This is like this song, because it's relatable. It's you and around. We go to stores that only let us in two at a time. We live in places where it costs to get your check cash. Arguments about money usually drown out the tech blast. Work six days a week, can't sleep Saturdays though. Muscles trembling like a pager when the battery's low. You still don't know where the years went. Although every single shift feel like a year spent. You could write your resume, but it wouldn't even mention all the life lessons learned during six years of detention. And how you learned the police was just some handicappers on the ground next to broken glass and candy wrappers. So don't accept my collects on the phone. Just hit me back at the house so I know I ain't alone. And we could chop it up about this messed up system. Homies that's been killed, how we always gonna miss them? It's almost impossible surviving on this fraction. Superphony to the brain for the chemical reaction. You gotta hustle, cause they trying to push and shove I tell this motherfucker up, since I really love you. This is for my folkers who got bills overdue. This is for my folkers, um, check, one, two. This is for my folkers, never live like a hog. Me and you, toe to toe, I got love for the underdog. I started out um, not thinking of myself as an artist at all. Although in high school, like it seemed like everybody around me um, was doing I rap, you know, while people beat on the table or whatever. Everybody rapped. It wasn't something that you thought of as thought of yourself as an artist for doing. It was just something that people did. Um, and as I got more into organizing, I became less and less clear on exactly what an artist was. And what, what, how art could be used in the movement. And until one specific incident clear that happened was um, a woman named Rossi Hawkins and her two twin sons that were eight years old got beat down by the police. The sons and her. Um, the police claimed that the sons were selling dope and she was protecting them. Uh, they were beaten down. They, they, they were, she was bloody, they were beat. In the neighborhood, the people in the projects saw this happening, came out, and hundreds of people surrounded the police. A week earlier, someone had been beat by the police and not taken to the hospital and died in custody. So people were pretty determined to not let them take her and said, well, we're gonna take her to the hospital. And uh, the police got scared of the people gathering around and start shooting in the air. And I don't know if you've ever been around when guns go off, uh, but it's not really a lot of time to think, and most of the time what you're thinking is, I could die right now. So the whole crowd ran. At some point though, in within a few seconds, everybody ran back. And by the end of the night, there were two overturned police cars, Cops ran out of there without their guns, and Rossi Hawkins was taken to the hospital. This was the summer of 1989. And there was a song on the radio by Public Enemy called Fight the Power. So when everybody ran away, somebody started chanting, Fight the Power, Fight the Power, Fight the Power. And that let people know 
this is the right thing to do. That this is where we are. And this is this is our, our life is of mine right here. And everybody use that chance to turn around and go do what they have to do. Um, if I was unclear about the role of art up until that point, I was unclear no more. It was at that point when I realized that you know I needed to get better at my art form and uh, make more rallying cries that people could use uh, to organize against the system. At the bus stop one time, and this dude was like, "Hey man, I love what y'all do. You know, you know I love that political shit, but you know." I like that real shit, because I gotta pay the bills. By real shit, you meant, you know, stuff like Spice One, or this is a while ago, obviously. And uh, things like that that are considered gangster rap. And the reason is, is because what's considered gangster rap was talking about that you could go out and sell, sell a rock for $10 and, you know, make some money. And that's supported by a movement. There's a movement going on called capitalism. There's a movement going on that, that, that supports that. And that, that, that music is supported by a movement. But, um, you know, I'm sitting here talking about people taking over things. And, you know, people go home and there's still no food in the refrigerator. There's still, you know, they still, still can't, they haven't gained any more power by listening to what I'm talking about. And the, the reason is, is because it's not just an art, it's not just about art. It's about there being a movement that this art can connect people to. How, and, and that really hurt me, the, the comment that he made, because I'm like, damn. You know, when I talk about revolution and when I talk about people making a change in the world, I'm talking about people being able to pay the bills. I'm talking about people being able to put clothes on their back, keep the lights on put food in the refrigerator, but there's a disconnect because there's no movement talking about that. It's not a, a big movement. People don't see that. People see more rappers talking about social change than they do seeing movements in their neighborhood helping them stop being evicted, you know? And so this part ends up having a disconnect. So they're like, what are you talking about? You talking about that fantasy stuff, you know? And, and what's interesting is that Every rapper I know, whether they consider themselves revolutionary or not, thinks that they're helping people. I'm talking about, what you talking about, uh, like the old school ones like Spice One, E-40, Too Short. They think that they, they believe that they're telling people the wisdom that they learned and how people can stay alive and stay afloat. The problem is, the problem is not where people's heart is at, problem is, where did they get those ideas from that that's how you stay alive and stay afloat? They got it from, they got it from this system. And they got it, and, and they were able to get it from this system because there was no movement saying anything else. Until there's a movement that's dealing with the crux of the issue. And the crux of the issue I'm saying, I, I'm putting forward, is the fact that, that that we're, we live in a system that exploits us and that our lack of power comes from that relationship. Until we deal with things like that, until we make little, uh, militant labor movements, until we you know, make sure that, that these houses don't get foreclosed and help people stay in their house like they're doing in Florida, you know, until we start doing things like that, our art is gonna suffer just as an artist. You know, our art is gonna become irrelevant. Um, as far as hip hop itself being a movement, it's, it's, you know, I have a line in one song that says they're not scared of rap music, they're scared, scared of us. us. And um, that's the thing, it's, it's, you know, it's only as effective as the people that gather around it. So therefore it is effective.